Welcome to Drum Addicts on Anderson's TV, and today we've got a lovely special guest that is Jamie. So he's going to talk about drums, and I don't have to for two minutes. So, so Jamie is the drummer for Stereophonics. So he's going to be playing Natal drums today. This beautiful sparkly one is the one we've picked out out of our warehouse. So, um, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. Very similar to my kit that I play in the band. Um, I've been playing with the Stereophonics now for maybe four and a half years. Uh, previous to that, I had a band as a teenager called The Noisettes, and uh, you know, we made albums and we toured the world and whatnot. That ended for me around 2010, and uh, I started not, you know, I started playing with a few other artists at that time. I played with Brian Adams and Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, Sia, Katie Tunstall, Emily Sande, a lot of X Factor people. Um, a lot of recording uh, and then I got a text from Kelly Jones one day he, th he thought I was still in the noisettes and um, he, he asked if I wanted to come down and have a little jam and he gave me a, a list of songs to play I was like you know what I already know those songs um, give me some more and he laughed and he said uh, good answer I was actually in a stereophonics cover band as a child maybe uh, 12, 13, 14, you know, and we used to play the whole of their first album, Word Gets Around. So all of those songs are in my blood. Um, it's been, I've had an incredible journey as a drummer. Um, I started uh, very young and actually, one of the reasons I play Natal drums is because of uh, George Fredericks and meeting him at, at an early age, he introduced me to Steve White, Andy Gangadine, Keith LeBlanc, Greg Bissonette, Mark Mondesia, uh, all these, all those people I've mentioned, you know, I ended up having private tuition with. And it, it gave me an incredible foundation. But when George went to Na Natal, I followed him. You know, I trust his uh, instincts and uh, I've not been let down. These drums, I've not played these drums yet. I'm looking forward to playing these beautiful drums. But... Um, as I said earlier, they're not too dissimilar from, from my set that I play in the band, apart from my, my set's gold. You know, I've got, got to rock my gold. Um, but I love Natal drums, uh, and beyond that, I just love drums as, a, as, as an instrument, and I love what they do within song, and I love what you can do with drums um, within song. You know, it's not, it doesn't just have to be... Uh, a, a two and a four beat. It doesn't. It, it doesn't have to be anything really. It can be whatever you want. You're really limited by, only limited by your imagination. Uh, I've enjoyed experimenting with sounds uh, and texture um, as much as I have done with groove. So having a, a a great sounding drum kit only accentuates what I'm trying to achieve anyway. So I find Natal absolutely wonderful and. Um, that is a brief description of what I do and what I'm doing. The thing that I, I loved about you this morning, I, I met Jamie literally what half an hour ago. Yeah. I had a stack of snares in the corner and I said, oh, which one do you play usually? And he just went, third one down. So he trusts the gear that much that he can pick yeah. a whole stack of snare drums and just pick a box. So. Absolutely. And that's why I say about George as well, you know, um, I, I knew it would be, 
I knew when George went to Natal and I, that there would be amazing drums, and I wasn't wrong. You know, you can do, you can pick any kit, and it will sound fantastic. I have to say, it 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 will not sound good unless the drummer is playing the drums in a in a fantastic way. I do believe the the drummer is what the drum what makes the drum set sound good. The the drum kit only accentuates that. You know, so it, it is great having in incredible gear to play with, but it isn't, it doesn't define you. You know, what defines you is how you touch that set, how you, ha how you tickle them or how you play them. That's how, that's what defines the sound of the drum set. Um, but these are very incredibly well made drum kits made by very uh, intelligent human being it's a human beings it's a science here and uh look at them it's beautiful it's a beautiful i want to play this kit and really when i look at drum kits i want to be inspired to play it and i'm inspired to play this kit and that's all i want really you know that's it <laughs> so when you say they're intelligent uh, one a little thing we'll pick up on later yeah but this this is that, isn't that amazing so it's actually got three options yeah multiple positions of, isn't that awesome so you know you can get slidey ones, adjustable ones, but this has actually got little notches in it, so you can have it in what fully off or fully overdone. It's 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 really cleverly designed. My question is, why did it take that long to have that? What you know, we have these drums and they're in fixed positions. By having that opportunity, you can get three different sounds. Obviously, you can play the drum with your hands, hot rod sticks, or whatnot, but you know that's it. But now you've got another option to create different sounds. I love that. I love the way that they're thinking. It's forward thinking. You know, this drum has been untouched for so many years and they've just come up with this new way and it's just opened up the possibilities. Um, I'm excited to see what they come up with next, really, you know, because I already utilize that feature within the band. You know, I find it very useful being able to change quickly tones. So, so I'm assuming sort of maybe verse, chorus, something like that, do you literally switch? Exactly, you, you can do that, and that will all immediately give you a different dynamic change, and, you know, in the recording studio, you might add another snare in that chorus or whatnot, but when you're playing live, you haven't got that opportunity really, have you? So, exactly that, why don't you flick that on in the chorus, and then you've got a tighter sound, you know, the whole song's popped up a little bit, all the musicians are like, ooh, you know, they're, they're excited, it's, it, you know, there's more energy. That inspires them to play in a different way. It might inspire, inspire the singer to, to have a bit more energy. Who knows, but you, you, being able to create that movement live is an amazing, uh, uh, it's, it's amazing really, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of that feature. So that's, that's just one of the features. I mean, this kit is an all maple kit and Jamie's gonna be bashing it and making it sound gorgeous later. Yeah. But it's um this is your setup one up two down right quite a simplistic yeah well, no frills I've, i absolutely when i joined the band i really wanted to bring back the spirit of stuart cable um the obviously the original stereophonics drummer as he uh, that spirit and the way he played those songs on those earlier records i was such a fan of and uh so when i joined the band i just i i just took his sizes and the same with the cymbals and i i but previous to that, in the noisettes, I would only use a kick, floor tom, hi hat, and one cymbal, you know, and that really worked really well for that. And really, when I play with other artists, I take minimal setup anyway. I've always been quite a minimal player, but wanting to recreate the, the early stereophonic songs the way I felt like they needed to be recreated, um, which is keeping Stuart's spirit alive and uh, within the music, I thought, well, immediately I'm going to have the same size kit as him, you know, same size cymbals. I actually started playing the same drumstick size as well. You know, I just really wanted to get into his head and, and about a year or two into being in the band, I started hearing the songs in a different way and I felt like that was probably, I was hearing them the way that Stuart was hearing them, you know, and the, um, I really understand his musicality now. I, I find that he's one of the, his parts were just exceptional. Exceptional drum parts within Kelly's and Richard's songs, you know, just in incredible, incredible. And uh, musical, musical drum parts. I'm a big fan of that. So I wanted to get back to that vibe. And uh, 
by having this the, the same size drums, I sort of could get into that headspace a little bit quicker. The other cool thing from a drummer's point of view, I remember when I was a, a teenager, is yeah. learning stereophonics tunes. Yeah, you, it was very attainable. You could learn. Yeah. It. It's not full of chops, and it's yeah. not. It, it, it was something you can sit and groove to, and like you say, teenage self's got a bass player friend, yeah. and you just shouted it out, and that was yeah. what I loved about. It. I've seen him live a couple of times, so yeah, I, I, I've always loved that sort of playability. Yeah, exactly. And do you know what? That's a testament to the the songs. You know, the songwriting is so strong that these parts are the the drum parts are supporting parts you know they're it's different to you know it's just classic writing and classic musicianship it's a, reacting appropriately to what you're hearing and uh, there's always something very cool and unique about all his parts and it, you might not hear it straight away but I've gone into great detail all of those songs and there's always a twist where you're like there it is Right, so Natal, so you've been playing Natal for what, over a year now? Over a year, yeah. So basically your loyalty mm. to uh, an A&R guy that actually lots of people followed you with, like Steve Barney and people like that, that mm. followed from a previous company that began yeah. with P but aren't around, uh, to these guys, obviously, but these guys are British as well. So um, it's kind of a sort of love child from Jim Marshall, so all the guitarists out there, this is actually a drum product, but from a guitarist. Yeah. Um, so, but Natal are famous for all sorts of things, yeah. uh, lots of percussion and things like that. So what drew you, as well as obviously George, who's standing yeah. in the corner, yeah. what, what brings you to these drums? Obviously, we're going to play these ones. These are all maple. Yeah. So what made you pick your kit? Obviously, you've got a special colour. So what, yeah. what made you design and pick your kit? Well, to be honest, I mean, when I, I've never been to a drum manufacturer, the, uh, the actual place where they build drums. I've never... I've never seen that and I've never seen the inner workings of it and I had the chance to go to Milton Keynes to the Jim Marshall factory and see the inner workings of the place and and um, just to be frank it's it, it, it's the people who inspire me you know the the people behind the, the drums that make that make the drums the people who make who bring them you know people like George and everyone in that building inspired me it was a very exciting place and I like to be a around inspirational situations you know I want to be able to meet people that and and talk to them about the product and get excited about it and feel like they're excited about it you know just because you're a company that have been around a very long time and you're super successful if I can't get hold of you you know and I can't and I speak to you and it isn't you know it's it isn't exciting it's not exciting to me so as I said earlier for me the drums make the, the drummer makes the drums sound good and the drum set accentuates that. I'm really happy with Natal. It make it, I, I can do what I want to do, and I realise my musical dreams with this drum set. So I, I'm happy, you know. After that, it's who's who's there. And George, for one, was there, and you know that's no brainer for me. And the people when I met the people in the office, amazing, exciting, vibrant. Um, that's that's what I look for uh, to be inspired and and excited you know so it's not really about it's just that feeling is what I'm looking for with when I work with anyone when I'm you know that's what we that's what we crave and uh, then you can do some great stuff you can't do anything when people aren't excited about what they're doing you can't do anything in life when when that that feeling isn't there you can try and you might be lucky um, but ultimately when you've got people who are all got the same 
vision, uh, energy and excitement, you can then do something amazing with that. You know, all those energies combined and then you go and do something great. It's very much like being in a band. Every member of that band, band brings a flavor to that band and it accentuates the song. And then you go and perform that live and you, 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 can, you get lucky and you can have, you don't have necessarily always have to have that excitement and some people might get lucky. But for me, everything I've been involved with has always had that feeling uh, and I crave that. And it was a done deal for me when I went to see the factory. You know, I was just excited to be there. I thought it was amazing. You know, I thought it was an amazing place. And for, the, for those who don't know, Milton Keynes is in the middle of the UK, so it's a lot all... of roundabouts, <laughs> I believe. But um, yeah, it's it's obviously where where all the hand wired Marshall stuff comes from. So yeah, it's um... exciting place. They've got a museum there. I think you can visit there. Like, and can you visit there, George? Yeah. Yeah, you can visit the museum. You should check out the museum. It's amazing. So we we picked this obviously lovely anderton's white and blue kit off of the shelf yeah but um yours is is bright gold isn't it yeah black it's it's a it's a it's very appropriate so we'll, <laughs> we'll stick a still in you can see uh did you design that with george or did you pick a color out how, how did you come to you know what george actually he came up with the idea because he knows me really well you know he knows my he knows my wife he knows my family he knows what i'm like and he knew he knew, knows what I like, he knows what I like, you know. So he come up to me and he said, what about this? And he sent me a few pictures and I was like, of course. I was actually wanting to get all the hardware gold, but apparently it, it would make it very heavy and I didn't want to subject uh, our incredible crew in our, in our band. I didn't want to subject them to that. So um, we've gone for standard hard, hardware, but you know, it's, it's, we've just completed a world tour with that kit. Um, yeah, I think we did a hundred plus shows, and uh, not a problem. Uh, it sounded amazing every show. Yeah, fantastic drums. It, it dealt with the weather. You know, we go to Asia and we go to all these hot countries. You know, the, you know, sometimes you come on stage and uh, it, the kit's been on the back of the stage for the whole day. You know, like and subjected to heat and humidity. And uh, I didn't notice any problems. I've noticed that sometimes when I've gone out to those parts of the world, that the drums can feel quite sluggish, you know, after being out there all day. And uh, they retained their tuning really well. And I was absolutely impre super impressed with that actually, you know, so I love these drums. So is your gold kit, so this is a maple, is yours maple or birch? So basically this is original series from mm. Natal and you can get it in both types, so. Yeah, it's maple drum set. Maple, yeah. same as this then, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, um, this is literally your setup. Yeah, 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 man. We got our setup here. So the the original series come in different configurations, different colours. Um, we've got like half a dozen in stock, so check out the website. Um, yeah. The the cool thing about them is this split lacquer sparkle. I mean, that is, a, a, a it's a really nice like glint in the sparkle, not too big, not like the old school like Luddy like glint. It's popping. Yeah, it pops out. But they do, uh, one that I really like is like black with pink and yeah. they do lots of just different yeah. cool colours. So um, they're very eye, eye catching I always colours. remember Adrian Young from uh, No Doubt, he had a kit, he had this, he rocked the stripe and every drum was a different colour, you know, and it just really, I've always remembered that. So when George showed me the design, I was, it, it reminded me of, of him and his setup. I've always enjoyed looking at kits that are, exciting to look at you know like i said earlier if i'm excited to play the kit it, that's an added bonus i'm always excited to play the drums but if you look at the kit and you're like oh can't wait to get on get involved with that you know uh that's just an extra little thing you know that's a great little thing and sometimes that's all it needs to all you need to just inspire you know to be inspired by the actual instrument you know there's a lot to be said about that the other cool thing for you, obviously doing big, big shows, the yeah. lights probably look amazing on your gold kit. Yeah, it really pops out. And you know, we've got an amazing light, lighting guy who's been with the band for so many years. And you know, I've, there's a few moments within the set where uh, we, we, there's a new song on the album called Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Smith, and there's a, a drum solo at the end of that song. And so, you know, we have some specific lights dotted around the drum set just to really catch that drum kit. You know, and it, you can see that at the back of the field or you can see in the stadium, you can see that, you can see this drum set. If, even if you're at the back, 
you can still see that you probably you need sunglasses you know that's how bright it is it's great but that that's for you that's your your day in day out you are playing massive venues so for you yeah. to have a, a yeah. bright colored kit probably uh, it, it feels right it, i should keep on saying it feels natural it feels right to be you know in a you know in a big band with a big you know shining drum kit it feels <laughs> right it just feels like the natural thing i'm just going with what 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 with the flow so to speak and what i've chosen to play is it just feels natural what's going on now you know muted colors and whatnot that might be useful in a different pro in a different album or a different album cycle but right now we're going for these these big big colors and you know the band are having a really great time enjoying um experimenting with different things different sounds different artwork ideas and you know these little things i th i do think these little things make a difference subconsciously you know when we 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 spend a lot of time on stage we spend a lot of time in studios and whatnot and it's important to be in i keep on saying this but inspired by your surroundings you know and sub subconsciously just by having something bright and colorful that can lift you in a different way that might change the way you write a lyric or a melody or whatnot and uh, you know, people might not believe th th um, in this attitude, but I do. And uh, any any way I can help inspire, I'm going to go with it, you know, appropriately. And it was very appropriate to go with a, a big-ass sparkly drum kit, you know. That was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned earlier how everything's designed to a T. So mm. um, even really simple things like... I shall spin it around. There's like a a gap in the uh, it's it's the same on the key but basically end of the wing nuts and they just feel really comfy in your hand it's great um also the logo is actually sort of etched in each lug which is really cool mm. uh, your, yours has got what chrome hardware where this is sort of the black nickel yeah, so you I've can get it in i've just seen both. this for the first time and it's really attractive you know uh, uh whoever's buying these kits now you're lucky you know it's a great piece of kit it's it's an art it's a piece of art i would have something like this just in one of my rooms in my house just as a like set up like that because i would just like like to have that you know that's how that it's like a piece of, it's like a painting for me you know do you know what i'm saying that's how i feel about these instruments at natal but as general i feel it, when you've got something beautiful and exciting i want that around me and i'm no different to any other artist you know you want artists want to be excited by their surroundings and by you know what, what's going on and this is exciting i'm excited just sitting here i feel this vibe and i want to get going you know you know well that that's good so let, let's do some playing let's and we'll do some playing and we'll get that in so you can have a listen yes So thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Play these lovely drums in yeah. all, the, all the nice styles you've played. I hope um, you enjoy some of the colours that I've touched on, you know, uh, going on with what I've talked about. You know, it's really an, uh, an example of that, you know, what we can do with these amazing instruments. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this video. Boom. Check out online, check out all the specs. We've got lots of different kits in stock. And um, 
yeah, it's been Drum Annex. You won't see this man straight away, but hopefully he'll be back and we'll see you next time.